What's up everyone, Sag here, and today we're going to bring you T-Rex, the apex predator of apex predators. Normally, they're alone. They stay by themselves. However, what happens when you bring four together? Something magical. So, before we get into this, I'd actually like to, to talk about one thing, and it's actually not important at all, but I stubbed my toe, and not my big toe, but the, the, the middle one, like the one right after, right up against my desk, and I was literally like heaving and hoeing for like five minutes, and it was literally like right before I hit record, and I was like, oh my god, um, yeah, that hurt real bad. Um, yeah, that, that basically had nothing to do with anything, but I thought that you should know, you know. Anyways, let's get into this. Uh, we are actually on pack two. Wow. Who plays pack two anymore? Am I right? Um, but I thought, you know, let's... I like to come back from time to time, visit one of my favorite packs. Um, and this is what we got out of it. I actually was not going for multiple T-Rexes. Like, not in the slightest. But when they start just throwing themselves at you, you have to take them. It is still incredibly strong, and I'm surprised, honestly. I thought it would be weaker, but it definitely has not slowed down at all. So, we get through these first couple of rounds. Not too much happens. Uh, we're on a perfect game so far. I would have loved to have a perfect game, but uh, that's not going to happen. As you can see, we... We go a little crazy, so we get a bison with no level 3, and we find a buffalo. Buffalo is probably going to be a bit better than bison since we don't have the level 3, uh, but we're going to take it. We're, we're going to do something with it, you know? So, we got a big ant, too. Love a big old ant. That guy's got a big worm. We all love a big worm. And around here... You know, we're, we're just looking for stuff to buy, sell. We want to get this buffalo out of here. I mean, that bison out of here. We don't need him. He's smelly. Not doing anything good for us. He's a 4-4-2. That's nasty. Uh, why would you ever want that? We see a double turtle. That's cool. I, I like pilling turtle. Uh, and we get another one even. And another pill. Wow, double pill turtle. Definitely worth it, I'd say. And we got a little bit of a swan action going on here. Uh, putting our ant forth, one of my favorite things to do, making sure those buffs go to uh, the person I want them to. However, we ruin our perfect game right here, right now. But it didn't matter too much to me. I get them all the time. Who needs them, you know? And we will actually be able to get a level up here. And it's a seal. Seal's all right. Um, I think we might be able to use them for a couple turns. But, I mean, it'll probably be a bit better than Hatching Chick, if you think about it. So, we can definitely do that up. Unfortunately, we, we get the snail a bit too late. And canned food isn't really looking like what I want to go. So, we're going to do this. Switch it up a bit more. Make sure our hatching chick is buffing our meloned buffalo. And I think we're still looking a bit strong. However, that bat basically fucks us. Pretty unfortunate. Not too bad, though. We still got one life left. And uh, we pill this ant. We don't need him. And it actually hits our buffalo, which is really, really nice. Now, all we're looking for is something to replace our ant with. I'll hit a pair. I see a pair. I buy a pair. I'm a, a pair fanatic, if you will. Probably going to pick up this hedgehog, actually. Um, as soon as I pick it up, though, I immediately regret it because I, I have a melon. And, and that doesn't really work. But we do it anyways. We're fiends. Thinking maybe, you know, maybe we could get a, a level 2, level 3 hedgehog. But it ends up fucking us over, so I immediately want to get rid of it. Turn 9, the big turn. Definitely uh, where we start to go crazy. We get a double squirrel here, which is insane with seal. Absolutely gnarly. No point in picking up that buffalo, but uh, we decide to do it anyways. And that's the first T-Rex. And I was like, oh, turn 9 T-Rex? Pretty good. Especially with Swan, getting a couple extra gold definitely uh, helps out a lot. So, next turn, we'll definitely pick that up. I've said definitely a lot. Well, you're definitely going to hear it some more. And look at all those foods. I love squirrels so much now. Being able to get extra foods just feels 
so so sweet and one gold sushi that's pog so we can get a canned food for one gold um which is insane value probably combine squirrel get the t-rex here chocolate the squirrel because you know why not get a level two squirrel into another t-rex and basically at that point i don't need seal anymore double t-rex is way stronger than a single seal um and muffin has decided to join me can you say hi muffin Meow. okay lay down yes yes there you go muffin is basically a t-rex if you think about it she's real fat real strong and an apex predator um destroys every other animal i've ever seen <laughs> Bro, at this point, I'm I'm fucking goofy after getting my toe hit. It still hurts a lot. I, I'm trying to pull through here, though. No rest for me. No rest for the wicked. And we see another T-Rex. Turn 11, that's three T-Rexes. You gotta go for it. You see three T-Rexes, Trexes, and, and you know that it's gonna be a good time. Honestly, I could have gone for five, I think. But uh, we would have been pushing it real close. And I think um, I, I, I'm more of a guy who would rather win than, than like lose on nine with a, with a very, oh, I guess five T-Rexes isn't that interesting of a build. But losing with five T-Rexes feels much worse than winning with four is, uh, is what I think. So that's what we do. Uh, saw a chicken there, but there's no need. We are scaling so fast. It's plus six, plus three to all my units every turn. And our buffalo is almost maxed out. This guy's got a pretty strong team too. However, my buffalo is slightly stronger. Getting this canned food is borderline useless, but I buy it anyways. And we get to see another T-Rex. Here, I probably should have sold the buffalo. Just straight up sold it, done it, get it over with. But instead, I sell my beautiful swan uh, to get the three extra gold. And we get a level two T-Rex. So this right here is absolutely crazy. The amount of T-Rexes we've seen is pretty nutty. And um, honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think I've gotten a, a, such a good T-Rex game before. And we have one more turn to look for the last T-Rex. And if I had enough gold to get it in and still get the buff, I definitely would do it. So we're rolling, and that's all we're looking for. I honestly probably should have bought a melon there too. That's probably better than just looking for T-Rexes. And sadly, that was the last turn. And if I sold Buffalo here, I actually would not be able to get the T-Rex in. So I could have done it, but I wouldn't have gotten the buffs. And I think those buffs were needed. But I could have thrown, could have been a different uh, universe where, where I win, but we come up with this, which I'm still very impressed with. So thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And you know what? Have a beautiful day. Mm. God, my fucking toe, dude.